How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. And in my hand, I have the Honor Magic Book 14, which I've been using for a while now and we're going to get into it and see what it's all about and if it's good for you and what my recommendations are. In the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and the subscribe as well. And make sure you hit the bell as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. So right off the bat, the Honda Magic Book 14 is actually a really good looking laptop. It's very minimalist, which I really like about it as well. Like the branding on it is just very, very simple on the front. I love the silver finishing. And if you look around the lid itself, you have the Azure blue chamfer around the edges of the laptop, which looks like a nice finishing as well. So it makes a mid-range laptop uh, something that's very, uh, that won't break the bank, it's cheap for what it is, uh, but at the same time it makes it look premium, uh, if you get what I mean in that area. Uh, so this is actually 4.8 millimeters ultra thin in terms of bezel. So this is actually 15.9 millimeters uh, thick and it weighs just 1.38 kilograms. So it actually feels really light and uh, easy to chuck in a bag whenever you need to get on the go. Elsewhere you have this 180 degree flexible inch, uh, which means you can fold it, uh, sorry, you can lay it flat down. So again, with the display, uh, sometimes it has this glare that goes on. So if you're using it in bright light situation, uh, it might become annoying. But with that flexible inch, it means you can uh, move it so you get as comfortable as you can be whenever you need to use it. It's not touch screen, but you do get a 14 inch full view display and it has 84% screen to body ratio. And in terms of brightness, you're looking at around 250 nits of brightness, uh, thanks to the IPS full HD display there. So what else do we have here? We have a fingerprint sensor uh, on that power button on uh, the right side of, this, of the laptop itself on top of the keyboard area. So if you press that, it will just log you in straight away. And it's pretty quick as well, which I really like. And uh, on that keyboard, you also have a recessed uh, camera. So a pop-up camera next to that F6 key. So when you press it, uh, it just pops up. It hides it really well. So again, for privacy, people that are concerned with privacy out there, it means you can just fold it in, uh, hide it whenever you don't need to use it. In terms of ports available, you have a USB 2.0, a 3.5 mil headphone jack uh, or port. You have a full HDMI port as well, so if you want to connect it to external display, whether you are using it for work or you need to show power slides, presentations, for example, on an external display, that's there for you. You also get a USB 3.0 port and a Type-C uh, USB port, again, used for charging really quickly as well. I have quoted around 10 hours of battery life, but during my time with it, I was getting around eight hours of battery use out of it, and that's on my regular use. So browsing the web, watching Netflix, some minor gaming here and there, and I'm still getting around eight hours of battery life. Again, if you're a student out there or you're just using it for your work purposes, that's more than enough uh, for a working hour uh, throughout the day. And it doesn't stop there because you do get uh, you, uh, six to five watt fast charge as well. So you'll be able to charge it up very quickly in no time at all if you need to top it up throughout the day. For the internals, you have a Ryzen 5 3500U uh, processor in there with Vega 8 graphics card. For storage, you have a 256 gig of PCIe SSD card in there. So again, it means this is gonna be really fast for file transfer, uh, installing applications and loading them up, transferring files to your hard drive. That kind of stuff will be really quick uh, for you on the go. And that's also coupled up with eight gig of RAM. So that's DDR4 RAM, dual channel. Uh, again, very quick in terms of loading multiple applications at the same time, loading uh, applications that are idle in the background. You can quickly put, pull them back up anytime you want. It runs really quickly. For the operating system, this is running Windows 10 Home. Uh, so again, if you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade it for, for the uh, people that will be using this kind of laptop. You don't need to do that at all. So this is great for work, uh, for your work purposes. So if you're going to be typing for a long period of time, the keyboard, as a nice travel to it, as a nice bounce to it as well. And what you notice is it's nice and quiet. So if you a press person, for example, or journalist, and you're typing away in a briefing, uh, you don't have to worry about the loudness of the keypad. I have to really bash it to hear it here, as you can, as you can see there. Going back to that recessed camera as well, so that's 0.3 megapixel camera. Again, it's there, it's not the best of cameras out there, but it does the job in terms of uh, if you're gonna be doing Skype calls or if you're doing online uh, courses, for example, you'll be able to communicate with your, tut uh, your tutor online using that camera with no problem at all. You also get a really good microphone in there. So you're looking at a dual microphone setup and it's got four speakers in here that's also uh, Dolby Atmos ready as well. So when you're watching films or listening to audio in any format you're listening at, whether it's Spotify or whatever platform, it sounds good and clear as well. Although it's down firing, which means if you have it on your lap or if you place it on a desktop, it means it becomes teeny tiny. But once you raise it up a little bit, maybe place it on uh, some sort of stand, which I normally do, uh, it means it sounds really good. You don't have to worry about that area at all. With that full HD display as well, if you're someone who is into every graphics design or you rely on color accuracy, 
it's probably not something that I'd recommend to you, but you, you can still do uh, photo editing on Lightroom, do quick stuff on there. Uh, you're looking at around 65% sRGB uh, color accuracy there. For gaming, I've been res I, I was playing Forza Horizon 4 around here, and I was getting decent results, uh, frames per seconds uh, around 20, just over close to 30 in some cases, but this is not actually a gaming laptop. So if you're looking to buy it to do some heavy gaming, look elsewhere, this is not for you, but you can still do some. Low level gaming on there, you can play GTA 5 uh, on lower graphics, so you just have to lower your settings in order to play some of these games. Bear in mind though, when you're doing those kind of gaming, the battery will run dry very quickly, so keep that in mind. One thing that's also cool about the Honor Magic uh, Book 14 is that uh, Magic Link. So on here, you'd be able to tap uh, on a device or Huawei device, you'd be able to tap it using NFC and you'd be able to have a duplicate screen almost uh, with your smart of your smartphone on the laptop itself so you'll be able to control your phone so you can do things like uh, share files drag and drop uh, you can even control your phone completely on your laptop so again increases that workflow helps with workflow increases productivity when it comes to temperature whilst using it whether it's a processor, in processor intensive task or not this stays cool all the time and that's thanks to that s-shape uh, cooling fan that they've got in there as well Overall, for a laptop that costs $549.99, I really can't fault the Honor Magic Book 14. Uh, it looks really nice, it's nice, it feels premium, it's not too heavy, you can easily chuck it in your bag, ready to go. Uh, although it's a, a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but that's just minor details. Uh, it's got a decent graphics card in there for your everyday task. Uh, I'd recommend this for like students or if you are a journalist, for example, you just need something to do your work on the go. This is really good for you. I still do my Lightroom stuff on there, so if I need to edit photos, I can do that. It's still got some old school ports there, like a full HDMI, you full USB and a USB-C as well and your headphone ports. So again, good to lock yourself away somewhere, plug in your headphones, do some work. Really good for that. So overall, you have decent display, you have a decent design. It costs next to nothing in terms of not breaking your bank for a laptop. That's actually really good for what it is. Uh, it's got a decent uh, processor chip in there that's more than capable for everyday tasks. And also you get all the ports that you need. What more can you ask for? Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. But in the meantime, remember again to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.